Hi, my name is Elise and I'm a DUI student at Newcastle and this is a testimony from this year. I decided to do DUI as an opportunity to um, rest in God and to spend a year with him um, to grow in faith um, because what other time would I get the opportunity to spend an entire year um, with God um, serving him um, and DUI afforded me a space uh, to be supported and um, to be able to grow with God. Uh, especially when it came to um, the testimony that I'm sharing today, which is uh, my application for Masters, which I did throughout my DY year. I applied for my Masters in Edinburgh, and um, my friend who already studied there uh, messaged me and offered me a place to stay. This was perfect because um, I had my application in, I had accommodation stored, sorted and um, I had, and it was with one of my closest friends. Um, however, a few days later she messaged me saying that the landlord needed to know who the new tenant was by the end of the week. Um, because I'd only just applied uh, for the Masters, I had no idea if I'd actually been accepted yet and so I didn't feel like I was in the situation where I could say yes um, and so um, this was when I um, prayed to God about it um, and because of DY um, I had a great support around me and the space um, to be able to um, pray and rest in God in that and also to have others be praying for me and so I felt that God told me to um, do it and to trust in him and having spoken to other people on DUI and um, those in the church, um, they felt similarly. And so I decided to um, go for it. And so I accepted the offer for the house, having no idea if I'd um, got into the masters. Um, I then had to wait about a month, um, unsure of whether or not I was being living in Edinburgh just to live there or if I was actually studying the Masters. Um, this was a time to, um, to rest in God and to trust in Him and do I really afforded me that opportunity. Um, and when it was hard, I was really supported um, through prayer and through fellowship. Um, after the month ended, I was able to um, get my offer. However, the offer was a uh, conditional offer but I'd already received all the qualifications and documentation that I needed in order to get an unconditional offer and so I therefore needed to find out what I needed to do in order to make it unconditional and so ensued lots of uh, correspondence with the university in order to find out what I needed to do um, and after another month of waiting and trusting God um, I discovered that it was actually a technical error and there wasn't anything wrong with my application and they reissued my unconditional offer. And so now um, when I'm in situations um, where I'm not in control and can feel stressed and anxious, I now have that um, testimony to look back to, um, to remember his faithfulness and so I can look forward um, and look for his goodness and his truth.